Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Dude, where is my beer for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off and we finally managed to figure out how to stop this water dripping down from above. Um, which means we should hopefully now be able to pick up all of the random crap that we've got down here. <laughs> Including this. Oh, of course, I think we need to get um, a little bit drunk first though. So, I remember saying that last time actually. So let's nip into this pub here. We'll get a beer. We'll drink the beer, the pale ale thingy, we'll drink that. We'll get ourselves a little bit tipsy. Maybe we'll drink two of them, just because it can't hurt, right? So let's go to being tipsy. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yep, dirty, dirty washcloth. Lovely way of putting it. Uh, I'll have another one of those pale ale thingies. Thank you. Right, so we'll use this one as well. Hopefully that will then allow us to pick up those items outside because one of them is a baby bottle and I wonder if we can use that to quieten down the baby so the bus driver will be happy. So let's try picking up the bell. Yes, okay, I'm so happy I've got a bell. Wait, it's broken. Okay, and the baby bottle. I'm so happy I've got a baby bottle. Oh, that's, that's broken as well. Oh no. Uh, I can't open that. Can we pick anything else up here? Is there anything? I don't think so. Can we take one of these cones? No, we're not drunk enough to do that, I guess. Right, so we've got a bell. It's a useless bell because the clapper is broken. Uh, and we've got a crushed baby bottle. Can we... Let's try this. We're going to try the duct tape on here. No, that wouldn't work. Okay. No explanation as to why it wouldn't work, but apparently it just wouldn't. But let's... No, we can't use that. Okay. So, we're part of the way there. I mean, we're going to probably need to find something to put in here anyway, and I haven't seen any milk anywhere. So, that's a problem straight off the bat. So, we're going to have to figure out a way of doing that. Um... How can we fix this? We've also got that banana, um, which I'm not really sure what we've got to do with that. But the queue's died down again. Can we get in now? We can! Alright, so we're in the garden bar and grill. What kind of music do you like? Whatever kind of li whatever kind you like, but their earlier stuff. <laughs> so true. Well, I like their unreleased demos, so. Yeah, but I like the stuff they've never ever recorded. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah, that is pretty much how most people refer to music. Like, their earlier stuff was better, you know. I'm only into their earlier stuff. Their, their new stuff is, like, proper sellout. At least that's what a lot of people that I come across say. Um, so, let's take a look around in here. There's a big old window. Can't really look at that. There's a menu. Looks promising. Our beers. Beer cho. A rice and beans sour brown. That sounds disgusting. Feds on the beach, a blonde top fermented beer. Mm, don't think they have pilsners here. No, I was going to say that. Can't take that. Uh, this guy is... Why is he using like a, a teapot to make coffee? Is that a thing? So many beers with weird names and logos. I wonder if they have pilsner. I very much doubt it. Uh, the bar, the garden bar and grill. I wonder where the grill part is. Yeah, it's a good question actually. Uh, anything else here? What's this? A clock sign. I don't think this clock is working. Okay, we can take that. The clock sign I picked up in the garden. All right. uh, I like the way the fan's spinning. That's quite quite cool. Uh, coffee bags. Finca El Infetto Coffee. S wow. Okay, I don't I don't know what that means. Quadrigen Octuple Crap. <laughs> Sloppy Luwak, 900 NOK for 500 grams. All right, let's look at the counter. I'm just a normal guy. They are called baristas. Whatever. Uh, okay. There's a coffee pot. Can we take that? An empty coffee pot. It's empty, can't you see? Uh, does that mean we can fill it up with something? Can we use the coffee pot? No. Uh, okay. Right, group of hipster individuals. Let's talk to them. I'd rather not disturb them right now. Okay. There's a clean glass here. An unused glass. Can we take that? Yeah, we can. 
Right, okay. An empty glass. Um, milk. Milk! Looks like a bottle of milk. Yes, it's actually a mix of organic sprout pea and unsweetened cashew milk and 10% cashew milk. Wow, okay. Can we take it? Please don't touch my New Hampshire coconut milk. Coconut milk from New Hampshire? Yes, it's very valuable because they use windmills to power supply the greenhouses over there. I mean, I can't laugh too much at the milk situation because I actually am allergic to cow's milk and stuff, so I do have to use milk alternatives myself, so I'm not going to lay into the alternative milks too much. Uh, more clean glasses. I don't suppose we can... No, we've already taken one. Right, let's talk to Estefan then. Do you work here? No, I'm currently between jobs. But it looks like... No, it's the V60 coffee I ordered. You should try it. You ordered a coffee and you're making it yourself? Yes, kind of, but I still have to pay for the coffee. That sounds like a terrible deal. It's a little more expensive than a normal flat white soy macchiato brief, but... Uh, okay, do you know who the master brewer is? The master brewer sounds like a guy I would like to meet. I guess he can brew the best Vietnamese egg cafe bonbon compana. Vietnamese what? Ah, I see you're one of the people who asks for a black coffee. Yes, I am. Then I wish you good luck living in your ignorant bubble. I guess you're also one of those people who only asks for a pilsner. Yes, how did you... Bye. <laughs> wow. What a guy. Uh, okay, we've asked him everything. So... I mean, there's not anyone who works here, so can we just... We can't take it. Can we use the counter? Can't use that. Wonder where the bartender is. They are called baristas. Whatever, okay, yeah, so... Uh, chairs? Nice metal chairs. I guess not very comfortable. Maybe later we'll use it. Uh, okay, so... How are we going to get this? We need to get rid of this guy somehow, so we can... Take the milk. Hmm... Now that we've got this though, that gives me an idea, that empty glass. Perhaps we can fill that up with water. All right, we're a bit tipsy now, so we've got to bear that in mind. Um, and I was also thinking maybe we can just give this guy water. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree with the whole uh, refreshing beer thing. Maybe he just wants a glass of water because he's really hot in there. Uh, can we use this here? This is not a mason jar to fill up with anything, it's a beer glass. Okay. That's kind of weird. Oh, unless... Unless we can... Decant uh, beer into there and give it to him, perhaps? Let's go back into here. Uh, we'll talk to this guy, because I'm sure he mentioned water before. Uh, can I have that Samson beer? Size on. Right, yeah, okay. We'll give it a go. Thank you. Right, let's head out. Uh, we will... Can we use the glass with this? If it's for me, I'd rather drink from the bottle. So I wonder if there's a way we can... Hand this over to get it filled up then. Can we give this to somebody? I shouldn't. Okay. So we can't do that. So maybe we've got to find somewhere where there's a tap or something. Maybe we can use it on there. Yes, okay. So that's... Right. Ooh, that's very cold. I easily put the frozen glass in my pocket. Right, so... I pour the beer into the ice-cold glass. Okay. Can we give this to this dude then? He looks overheated. Maybe he needs a cold beer. Hmm, that should be refreshing, but maybe it's not tasty enough. Right, so... We've half solved it. It needs something else in it, though. Oh, wait, can we... It's not going to be something like the banana, right? It's not... We're not going to... Yes, let's make this weird beer even more disgusting by adding banana to it. Oh, my God, we actually did it. <laughs> it's a smoothie. Do you want a smoothie? He does! Yes! I can't believe that worked! Exactly what I needed, thank you! Okay, so... Right, we're, we're actually... 
We're going to need to get a drink now, but actually that worked. So he wanted the smoothie all along. I cannot believe that that worked. The hints were quite good, though, to be fair. Uh, a beer, please. Anything special? No, just a, a pills and then we'll do. We have to remember that he has Guinness here, but I, I don't know if we can actually... Yeah, I'll have the Guinness then. Right, he'd need a good reason to order that, so we've got to remember that because there may be a time that we're going to be able to order that. Um, but we need a beer to talk to this dude, so let's head this way. I was thinking maybe we could fill the glass out of water and chuck it on Eric, but obviously that's not going to work, which makes you think maybe we've got to repair this bell so we can ring the bell to wake him up. Uh, this guy's still here with the glue, which... Again, I'm not really sure what we're going to need it for, but I think we might need it. Right, let's use this. The Pakistani Pale Ale. Very nice. Now we'll get another one, please. I like that our money never seems to actually ever go down when we're using all these beers and things as well. It's pretty funny. Straw animation is pretty cool as well. Okay, we're tipsy. Tastes like cat pee. Right, so, um, let's head back to the mascot. We'll talk to the mascot, and we'll see if he can tell us anything useful. Uh, hey, how are you? Much better, thank you for the refreshing smoothie. No problem. How can I help you? Uh, why didn't you accept beer from me? I can't drink at work. Uh, that suit looks so hot for this weather. Yeah, tell me about it. Employees shouldn't be forced to wear such warm garments in this weather. Nobody cares about our rights. They even forbid us to drink alcohol. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe that unlocked something by doing that. Did it perhaps make the queue go down? Again? Maybe we've got to solve loads of puzzles to get into the crypt place. No, that hasn't actually done that. Has it affected anything in here so we can get the milk? Doesn't look like it. There's got to be a way of getting that though and we'll figure it out. We're on a bit of a roll, so I'm feeling really good now about this. Um, we were sort of... That was closed, wasn't it? Beer garden, I think. Yeah, I was kind of feeling like we were... Not, not at dead ends, but I was just a bit sort of... Lost for ideas. Um, but luckily, things started have started to roll a bit now, which is good. I guess it's just a case of doing things in the correct order, and then things maybe start to click into place. So, I want to try this bell idea. It's broken. Right, so we're going to need to find a way of, of repairing this. I doubt we can... No, we're closed, okay. The microbrewery's closed. Can we even get into the bike shop? doesn't look like it uh, is there a way we can fix this thing can we hang on <laughs> this is really bad but I'm gonna try it doesn't sound smart okay uh, a paper clip can we no no okay um, how would we be able to fix that? We tried the... Did we try the tape? Is it, okay, that piece of tape is useless, apparently. Uh, we did try that. Uh, what else do we have? Fish bones. I doubt it's going to be that. Tin foil, maybe? Maybe we can... Hang on. No, it doesn't sound smart. Uh, tin foil with that? No. The band? I spin... Yes, okay, I'll spin the rubber band around the bell. Why? I don't know. Okay, so we've got the... We've got it now. I can't use that. It needs a timer-like mechanism before it can work. Okay, so can we use this? We can! <laughs> I somehow combine rubber band charged with bell with the clock sign. And now I have an alarm clock. I said, wow, we are on a serious roll today, guys. True MacGyver achievement unlocked. 
I don't know what to say, this is like a ridiculous amount of progress, and it's all just starting to click. Um, use the alarm clock with Eric then, I guess. <laughs> Whoa! Why did you wake me up? Are you from the government? Uh, aren't you being paranoid? I didn't wake you up. I don't know how Eric speaks, by the way, so... <laughs> Listen, the government is out to get you, man. Be careful, you should protect your brain to avoid anyone hacking your thoughts. What are you talking about? Yeah, man, these new 5G microwaves are dangerous. Yeah, if you say so. The homeless people know the best. How do you protect your brain? Uh, if you say so. Yeah, man, because we wear stuff out here in the streets. Oh, we hear stuff, sorry. How do you protect your brain? With protective headgear, man. It's the only way. Uh, don't tell me you use alumin uh, aluminium hats here. Yeah. I mean, Americans say aluminum, but we say aluminium here in UK. You mean those tinfoil hats I've seen? Yeah, exactly. But you're not wearing one. I know, someone stole my protective hat the other day. I should really buy another one, but I keep forgetting. You bought a tinfoil hat? Yeah, the, the hat shop is not there anymore. I wonder if the owner was kidnapped by aliens or by the government. Either one of them for sure. Uh, you're crazy, man. Are you for real? Come on, you don't really believe in those things. Man, I've got it all figured out. Just think for yourself. Don't trust the TV and stuff, man. Okay. Uh, still paranoid? Yeah, I don't have my protective headgear. Ah, the tinfoil hat. I don't know who stole it. Uh, I don't know, but we do actually have tinfoil, which makes me think... Uh, I woke you up because I need something from you. I don't have anything. You people have already taken everything from me. I want one of your clean bottles. No way, man. These are my babies. Would you give away one of your babies? Hmm. Uh, okay, let's try... Don't be, don't be rude. Okay, I didn't say anything rude. Let's see if we can give him that... Oh, no. Talk, sorry. <laughs> Press talk to the simple. Right, let's give it to Eric. Hey, homeless guy, I have something for you. Don't be sarcastic. I'm not. I have something you can make a hat of. Wow, thanks, man. This is perfect. How can I ever repay you? Uh, by giving me one of your babies? How about you give me one of those shiny bottles? By giving me one of your babies. I guess this gift was a treasure for you. So yes, I'll give you one of my treasures. I knew it. What? I was expecting something because I'm solving this puzzle and... You're crazy, man. That's what TV does to you. Here, take this. It's my emerald. Thanks. Now can we get back to my beauty nap. Okay, he's gone back to sleep. Can we pick this back up? I think this homeless guy will give it more use than me. Okay, no, we can't. We have got an emerald bottle, though. An empty emerald bottle I got from the homeless guy. Okay, so... I wonder if we can maybe use this in some way... I don't actually know, to be honest. We can't use it with that. Can we use it with the wine? No. Um, hmm, what would we use it for? I don't know. Let's go and see if we can use it to get the milk, maybe. Oops, sorry. I just bashed the mic there. Sorry. Uh, oh, the queue's died down again. Okay, we can't, we can't go in there yet by the looks of things. But the queue has died down again, so maybe we can get in here soon. Let's head back in here. This guy's still here. Can we use this new bottle on the milk? Let's see if we can pick up the milk first. So actually, it seems like we might be able to, but we can't... Hmm. The bottle is broken. Okay, it won't let us do that. We're going to need to find a way to sort of screw with this guy or something I think I'm not really sure how we're going to do it just yet but we're going to need to find a way to get this guy out of the way so we can steal this milk but maybe it is something to do with this emerald bottle once we manage to get the milk which is interesting so we'll call the episode there um, mad progress in this one I'm really really happy you've done really well so we'll carry on in the next one so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you or just haven't already done so and I'll see you all next time.